In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about template estimates. Uh, in some cases, you, you, know, you perform repetitive tasks in the way that you'll, uh, you'll create the same room over and over, say a, a room called roof, and it has the same type of roof, a three-tab, 20-year roof with the same, you know, the same uh, components to it, and you just want to be able to go into an estimate that you've already created with that same room in it and just pull that room in. Uh, it's possible to do that you can create an estimate called a template estimate. You can turn any estimate into a template estimate for that matter. Um, you can designate an estimate as a template estimate when you're creating it. I'm going to show you a little bit about how to do that. Uh, this estimate right here, the Jones Jimmy estimate, let's go ahead and open it real quick. It's got a few rooms in it. Uh, bedroom here has a few line items. Uh, master bedroom and let's say roofing okay so let's go ahead and close this estimate and let's designate Jones Jimmy as a template estimate now what I did was I just I highlighted it left click and then I right clicked on it to get this this drop down menu here and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click make this estimate a template okay and you'll notice right under underneath it it says remove template status from this estimate that's how you remove it so let's go ahead and make this estimate, uh, estimate a template uh, it doesn't change the estimate at all you can still use the estimate you can still add to it subtract from it print it do whatever you want it doesn't change it in any way I'll, I'll show you exactly what it does do let's go into Randy Moore's estimate here uh, Mr. Moore doesn't have anything in this estimate and even if he did uh, even if he already had some rooms it wouldn't matter you can still grab rooms from the other estimate so we're going to go to the add rooms dialog and right down here at the bottom of the add rooms dialog uh, it says here copy rooms from another estimate and then you'll notice here there's this check mark that says show template estimates only and that's all when you create it when you designate an estimate as a template estimate the only change it makes is it is it makes it show up in this little box here when the check marks there that's it it doesn't change the estimate in any way shape or form so you're not going to lose any work or anything by uh, designating an estimate as a template uh, now if I uncheck this it's going to show me every single estimate that I have okay which is only four estimates in there right now and so I'm going to go ahead and click this button again. It's just going to show me the estimates that I've designated as templates. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and it's going to show me all the rooms inside of the Jimmy Jones estimate. Now I know that bedroom one contains some items that, that I'd like to bring into this estimate, and so I can just go ahead and click on bedroom one, and I want to go ahead and click on include tasks, okay, and then I can also go ahead and click on additional rooms in there. Now you're going to have to use your control button, okay, or your shift button. You have to control or shift click. And I've done a whole video on how to go about control and shift clicking. Uh, so let's say that you wanted to, you know, choose bedroom two as well. Well, if you click on bedroom two without using the control key, it just highlights bedroom two, and then it it unhighlights bedroom bedroom number one so that doesn't do you a lot of good so you wanna you wanna keep bedroom one highlighted press your control key and go ahead and highlight the next room and in this case the next room I wanna highlight is going to be uh, let's see what was it master bathroom okay now if you come up here you'll see that bedroom one is still highlighted because I'm holding down the, ship, the, the control key uh, then you come over here and I also want to highlight roofing so I still have the control key held down and I click roofing now I notice that I have include tasks in there include openings just is just for you know openings like doors and windows and stuff like that I'm not really concerned about that because it's going to change that uh, from the last estimate anyway however the measurements for bedroom one will be imported okay so uh, obviously there's no measurements for roofing so there won't be anything imported there so I'm gonna go ahead and say copy selected room to the list above and there you have it and I'm gonna go ahead and add these three rooms and you'll see that they just added to my estimate okay 
And if you'll come over here to the Dimensions tab on Bedroom 1, you're going to see that the dimensions were imported from the other estimate. And if you wanted to change them, this is where you would do that. When, when we imported them a while ago into the Add Rooms dialog, it wasn't, a, the, it wasn't available for you to change those measurements. You would make those changes right here in the Dimensions tab. And so it's kind of just a, a quick way of, of pulling in rooms from estimates that you've done in the past. So you can designate any, uh, any estimate as a template estimate. Let's go ahead and close this estimate out. I'm not going to save my changes. And you'll see right here that the Jones Jimmy is designated as a template. Let's go ahead and right click on that. Go back down here to remove template status. And that's all there is to removing template status from an estimate. And like I said, it, it doesn't really uh, make a difference one way or the other whether you have something chosen as a, as a template or, or not. It's just about showing up in that little box when you're trying to you know, figure out which, which estimates that uh, are templates. It makes it a lot easier to have estimates that are designated as templates because if you have 100 different uh, estimates in here, you don't want 100 different estimates showing up in that template box because then you, it'd, be, it'd be very difficult to be able to find the, the real template estimates. And that's pretty much all there is for this video. Thanks.